page two uh, starts off with a, a scale, fast run there. So the eighth notes you're going to play in half position. Three, two, one. One and two are a half step. Three is a whole step. And then use a one to play the A. So you have the two on the A, and then you're going to do a one on the A. Three, two, one, one. Now two on the B to start the scale. So to practice that, uh, just take four notes at a time, separate bows, slower. And as you get good at that, you can go faster. And then once you have it, then you're going to take out the break in between the notes. And then you can do it with the slur. It needs to go faster still. So here it is. It's very fast. All right, after that, the next two lines are really important for intonation. The harmonies are a bit uh, strange. The notes on their own in the second violin part is a little bit uh, weird sounding, but it's imperative that it's really in tune. Low one for the A sharp, still C sharp. Okay, and then after G sharp, you can do D. You can choose your fingering. Third position is probably easiest here. Fourth finger on the G, two on the E, one on the G. Third finger for the B, one on the D, two on the E, one on the G. But you can do first position if you want. Or any other fingering that you like. I'm not opposed to open strings, I just want it to be really in tune. Let me play it now from the top of the page. few notes there before C, G, A, B. Third finger is a half step for B sharp, same note as C. And a fourth finger is a half step above that for C sharp. Now measure 30, uh, these 36 measures of rest starting at C. You don't have to count those. Um, you're going to hear a crescendo in the orchestra and then you're going to hear the trumpet come in one measure before your scale. Now that scale is an F sharp major scale, lots of sharps. So uh, start in third position, third, first finger for the C sharp, second finger D sharp, third finger a whole step away for the E sharp, same note as F. Those three notes all have all whole steps away. Uh, you'll know it's in tune because it sounds like Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, so fourth finger is a half step for the F sharp. Crossover, same thing on the D string, A string, all right, now letter D, still third position, A sharp and B, First finger on the D, and third finger on the F sharp. If you're playing the bottom, then you can just play in first position um, until you go to the B, second finger to go to third position on there, and third finger for the C sharp at the end. All right, letter E. First finger for the G sharp, nice and low. Second finger for the A sharp, which is a whole step away. 
A sharp is the same note as B flat. So if you don't like G sharp, A sharp, just think um, A flat, B flat. And then your third finger is right on top of where the second finger was to play the B natural. A sharp tucked under there. Same notes, just in a different uh, different order there. Okay, now after G, we start a chromatic uh, chromatic scale here. So that means everything is going by half step. Go to third position on. Let, let me back up. So G sharp, low one. Two, half step higher for two. Then you're going to play, it's a G double sharp. It's the same note as an A, so your first finger right underneath. Uh, just know that everything is a half step, everything is touching. So um, you just have to know if you have to go higher than the previous note or lower than the previous note. All right, so after the G double sharp, um, and then you have the uh, A sharp, which is the sharps carry through, so right on top of the first finger is your second finger. Last note of that measure is the third finger for the B. Start of the next measure is a fourth finger right on top of that for, for B sharp, which is the same as C. Then back to third finger for an A double sharp, which is the same as B. So this can get very confusing. That's why I'm just encouraging you to play everything a half step and you'll be fine. Then, the, what you just played before with the fourth finger, that B sharp at the beginning of the measure, you're now going to play that same note with a first finger. So you're now in third position. You're essentially just playing a C. All right, now second finger next to that, that's for the C sharp. Third finger next to that, that's for the D. Fourth finger that's next to that for the E sharp. Now take your fourth finger back a half step, and now you've got your D half note, C sharp under that, and now a whole step to B, half step to A sharp, tuck it under, uh, back on top of that is the B, C sharp again a whole step, B. Alright, after the measure of rest, whole step to D sharp, big reach. Tuck the first finger under the second finger. Now at letter H, you can go to uh, third position. Second finger for D, half step to E, whole step to F sharp. One under C sharp, D sharp, E. Now the beginning of the next line, we're going back to first position. F sharp. Now tuck your first finger under the second finger for the E sharp, which is the same note as F. Fourth finger is a half, uh, is a low fourth finger on the D string for the G sharp. Now third position, E flat, second finger. G flat's right next to that. First finger, tuck under the E flat. Next line, first position, all half steps, all half steps. Now I, every time you have half notes with dashes, there's some separation between the notes. After the half notes, those are all half steps again, chromatic scale. There's that B sharp again, which is a C. Next measure on the next line, C sharp, fourth finger right on top. One, one. Now we go back over, this is not a half step obviously, over to the G sharp. Leave your 
fingers there for the rest, and your first finger is ready to go. Third finger up a half step. Make sure your E rings. Now replace that D that you just played with your third finger. Play it now with your first finger. First position. 